Hi everybody, this is Mike, and this is the Michael W. Hall channel. Uh, first of all, thanks for your support, and um, it's interesting putting out a, another video about uh, music theory and musicianship. Yesterday, we talked about um, understanding intervals and building chords. Today, I'm going to play some chord progressions, as you will need to identify on the RCM test. Now, the theory test, level 7, has several chord progressions you need to be able to hear. One is a 1-4-1 one, one chord progression in a major key. So we have the tonic, subdominant. Now these are played in root position. Here comes the bride. You want to hear the perfect fourth. 1-4. Perfect fourth. And then you have the 1-5-1. One, So listen for that. One, four, one, one, one. Four, one, one, five, one, one, four, five. The tonic to the subdominant to the dominant. Now we're not dealing with dominant seventh chords here. I'm just playing triads, but. Uh, understand that the blues and the 12 bar blues uses these 1 4 5 chord progressions so does you have that in rock and roll popular music so now these chords are more um, oriented toward rock so it's you know they're gonna have some parallel movement in them that you wouldn't want in part writing but that's the 1 4 5 You hear the bass line ascending because we're in root position. So that is La Bamba. Now, the minor progressions may be a little easier to hear in some ways. Um, there is a minor 1 4 1. Listen again to that. We have, let's see what I want here. There, that's better. One four one. Now with the one five one, the reason I say it's easier to hear with the one five one, your five is dominant, so that is um, a major triad. Not to be confused with the dominant seventh chord we were talking about yesterday. That's a quality on its own, like major minor dominant seventh. Uh, we did have we did diminish too. I'm thinking about a half diminished chord I did in a song recently, just a few hours ago. So. But um, so we have the one four one, and now one five one, may, uh, minor one, two, the major, the dominant triad. I'm going to make the bass line here so it ascends this time. So, da da, perfect fifth. And then the one, four, five is a minor one, minor four. And then a major five, or a dominant chord in the minor key is a major. Now to remember the one four one minor, you might think of that Russian folk song, the Volga Boatman. Da 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 da. Remember the one four five in the minor key is striking because you have two minor chords and then the major, the dominant triad. So in our lessons, we practice those. Perhaps I'll do another recording with some things to practice or lead you somewhere else. But um, short video today. Hope that helps. Remember, music theory is all about synthesis of information and application. Dry knowledge on a piece of paper may not make you a musician, but it certainly doesn't hurt you. There are many creative things going on outside of just music theory 
and um, improvisation, but I told a friend of mine I'm more into the artistic side than the mathematical side, but I sure am grateful for the mathematical side of music. Take care, everybody.